If you're thinking about relocating to White Rock, BC, chances are you're wondering, what is there to do in this small little town of ours? Well, the truth is there's a lot of great things to do. And in this video, I'm gonna cover some of the top attractions and I'm gonna do it by way of a virtual Google map tour. This way, when you come to the area, you'll have an idea of where things are in proximity to each other. And once you actually move here, you'll know what you can do on the weekends with your family, with your friends, how to get out and enjoy this beautiful area. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so let's start out our tour of White Rock by taking a look at the map of White Rock. As you can see here, if I zoom out, White Rock proper, you can see the border here, is actually quite a small area. White Rock is just uh, south of South Surrey. A lot of people that live and work in South Surrey and White Rock use them interchangeably. So if you're in South Surrey, oftentimes you'll refer to it as White Rock. But nonetheless, White Rock proper is a very small area actually. Now the border is over here on the west side is 136 Avenue or 136 Street, pardon me, and everything south of North Bluff Road. Now everything south of that is White Rock. Everything above would be considered South Surrey. Over to the uh, to the east, the borderline is 160th Avenue. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with White Rock Pier. White Rock Pier, um, as you may or may not know, is the largest pier in all of Canada. It's a beautiful spot. And what I'm gonna do here is zoom in and take a look at the pier. We're gonna go and take a look at it from the street view here. So here we are down at Marine Drive. And if we just turn the camera around here, there is White Rock Pier, okay? So White Rock Pier is a beautiful spot. Uh, I'm gonna go back to take a look at some of the photos of the pier. So here on Google Maps, it's kind of nice because people have done us the favor of actually taking photos and putting them online here for us to view. So this one's on a cloudy, it looks like a winter day. Uh, and I need to give credit due uh, where credit is due for the people who are taking these photos. They are not my photos. Uh, they are taken by, uh, this one's by Raphael. And so I guess while you're watching this video, just take a look at the upper left-hand corner uh, to give credit to the people who took these photos. But you can see, look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, the tide is up at this time of day. So we're out on the pier looking back at White Rock in this particular photo. And all of this area here is considered um, the bluff, okay? So the bluff is sort of a hill, if you will. And you can see the houses are all built up onto the hill. And everybody's striving to build um, places with balconies and views. So the whole idea is to get the best view possible of uh, the White Rock Pier, ocean, and the beach here. So let's go ahead, take another look at another shot here really quick. This one's a really cool picture, okay? So this one is under the pier. And this is actually one of my favorite places to take photos of the White Rock Pier because most people take it from above. And this is kind of cool when you're below. Here the tide is out and you can see it's quite beautiful. Uh, White Rock Beach, the tide goes out very far and you can walk for miles and miles and miles. You can walk all the way over in this direction to East Beach. And in the distance here, you can see over here uh, is White Rock, the actual white iconic rock that uh, White Rock, the town is named after. Okay, so that is White Rock. That is White Rock Pier, I should say. Let's go ahead and take a look at the promenade now. So again, here's the pier. If you're down on the beach here, I'm gonna start down uh, towards this end. Okay, so what I wanna do is take a look at the promenade of White Rock, which is where all of the, the restaurants and the gift shops and little trinket type stores, ice cream shops, fish and chip shops, all of these places are found here on Marine Drive on the promenade. And I'm starting this little uh, virtual tour, if you will, at the bottom of Oxford Street. This is Oxford Street here, and really quick, Oxford Street is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the steepest uh, street in all of White Rock. So in the winter months, it's kind of fun because if and when we get some snow, we don't get a lot of snow around here, but when we do, if it sticks to the ground, you'll often see kids tobogganing down the hill here, people on skis. It's really cool and a lot of fun. Um, it does get a little bit slippery. You've got to understand that if you're not from this area, 
Um, Vancouver, White Rock, Surrey area, we are not known for getting a lot of snow. And because of that, we don't have proper snow removal equipment. We don't have near enough to clear the streets quickly enough. So places like Oxford Street will often be blocked off uh, when there's a lot of snow to prevent traffic from going up and down because it's just too hazardous. Uh, you can't really tell from this, this image here, but it's actually quite a steep street, okay? So again, that's Oxford Street, very cool street. You wanna check it out. Uh, um, in the summertime, we have a tour to White Rock, which is a bicycle race, and uh, the cyclists have to cycle up Oxford Street, which is quite the chore. All right, so here we are again. We're on Marine Drive, and I'm going to scroll down Marine Drive. Now, as we're going through Marine Drive, you're going to see all of the shops along the side here. There's coffee shops and what have you. On the other side here is the ocean, okay? There's also a train track that travels along um, uh, Marine Drive here. So all the way along Marine Drive, you're going to see the train tracks here. And once in a while, the train does go by as well. It can be fairly loud, blowing its horn and what have you, but it's also kind of fun uh, if you're standing it there and you get to watch it by uh, watch it go by uh, cosmos here a great little uh, greek restaurant that's been around for a long time great little spots to have coffee have breakfast sit out there and look out at the water now at the time that google took these photos for google maps it wasn't a very nice day obviously uh, but this is really just to give you an idea of the area all right so again we're strolling along the promenade here you can see we've got all your ice cream shops your coffee shops the boathouse here is a great place uh, to have dinner you can sit up on the rooftop on a nice day look out at the water at the ocean it's absolutely gorgeous as with many of the restaurants along here of course they all have uh, seated outdoor seating along the sidewalk here really quick over here to your right you're going to find paid parking okay in white rock proper uh, you do need to pay for parking at least down here by the water um, and it can be a little bit challenging to get parking in the summer months because in the summer months this is a typical quintessential beach town you're going to get a lot of people driving up and down marine drive uh, it's usually quite busy with traffic there's a lot of people walking around here on the promenade socializing eating their ice cream the music's playing in the cars as they drive by so it's a lot of fun your typical kind of beach vibe now as we come up here again we're heading uh, we're heading east at the moment uh, right here is the white rock museum now this is kind of a neat place all right the white rock museum was originally um, it was originally a train station so if you look at old photos of white rock and i'll try and post some here this was actually an old uh, train station and the train would come by here and you know pick up and drop off people but there wasn't much here other than a dirt road none of these shops were actually here so it's really cool to look at the old photos all right uh, by the way in the museum uh, it's called a museum there's really not much to it to be honest it's in my opinion it's disappointing I like museums I think they're kind of cool uh, but this one's really only one or two rooms and it's got a couple of uh, I guess artifacts and books and stories and what have you but not really too much to see um, which is unfortunate in my opinion it could be a whole lot more because White Rocks has its history just like any other place um, but nonetheless, that's the White Rock Museum, aka the old train station. Now here, what we're looking at is the, um, this is Memorial Park, okay? And this was just redone a couple of years back. This used to be all grass here, but now they've paved it over and they put up some picnic tables. Uh, there's some, in the summer months when it's warmer, there's water fountains shooting out of here for the kids to play in. Uh, so it's fun for that. They also do a concert series here down on the Memorial Park. This is called Memorial Park. And the, uh, the concert series is done by TD. So they have a lot of bands come in, they sit here and, and play music. So it's a really good opportunity to enjoy the, the local vibe and uh, hang out with some of the locals as well while listening to some great music in these summer evenings. Switching around here again, just looking up at the promenade. This is Charlie Don't Surf, a very popular place, been there forever. This is the OC, Ocean Beach. All right, so really fun place. Um, again, the vibe here is really cool. As we scroll up here, we're going up over what's called the hump. All right, so you can see we're going up a little bit of a hill here. So we're traveling from West Beach over to East Beach. Okay, so locals call this the hump. You can see the pier there. And as we go over the hump, 
um, on a beautiful day, you're going to see some beautiful, beautiful shots of the uh, the ocean. Um, but I want to go over to the other side here. OK, so we get over the hump. We're at the top of the hump here. As we go over the hump, you're going to see East Beach. OK, now East Beach is known for its tide pools. So look at this as we come up to the, at the tide pools here over on the right side of the street. So the tide is out pretty far here, but it does go out a lot further and you can walk for literally like an hour out there into the tide pools, jump around and play in the tide pools. Uh, they're warm in the sun. Uh, in the summer months, you're going to see kids skimboarding in the tide pools. You're going to see, um, I guess, adults and some kids doing some uh, some paddle boarding. You're going to see kite surfing, all of that kind of thing. Castle building. It's a really fun spot. Now, right here, as we pass by, I want to show you right here are some totems, some totem poles. This is coming down into East Beach. So they're kind of tucked away back here. See if we can see them. There they are. Okay. Some totem poles. Have a quick peek at those. And then we're going to continue down further into East Beach. Now, East Beach, again, it's a little more quiet than the West Side. East Beach also has its coffee shops. It's got a couple of, it's got a tattoo parlor, ice cream shops, a couple of little restaurants. This is a washroom here if you need a break. Um, but again, a lot of people come down here. They'll park their car and they'll go out into the, uh, into the water and onto the beach um, to enjoy the calm cool vibe of the beach um, really quick i'll just show you if you scroll down a little bit further uh, this is all the city here so it's paid parking but right here in this little spot little secret for you right here is um, a native area native land and so this is not at, these particular spots here are not city parking and the parking there is a parking meter here and you have to pay for parking still but it is a little bit cheaper so there's a little insider secret for you if you will all right so that's east beach really quick i'm going to take you back up over the hump to the west side very quickly because i want to show you our iconic white rock you definitely don't want to miss white rock if you're coming to white rock you want to see the big rock the boulder that uh, this city is actually named after so if we go back to the topical view of the map here you can see we were down here at east beach we're going to travel back up marine drive to the west here's the pier over here now between the pier and uh, east beach you're going to find white rock this is the actual white rock so let's go ahead and uh, click on a a few of the photos here of white rock and there it is okay this is the white rock this is what everybody talks about so year-round you're gonna see people climbing along the rock getting their photo taken with the rock by the way they paint this rock every year um, it is not naturally this white it gets a lot of bird poop on it to be honest with you so it doesn't look all that great so the city paints it every year and it looks a heck of a lot better when it's painted white by the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Glenn Hopkins. I am a local realtor here in the South Surrey and White Rock area. If you're thinking about relocating to this area, do a couple of things. Number one, subscribe to this channel because I regularly make videos about South Surrey and White Rock, everything you want to know about it. And of course, if you have any questions, and I'm sure you do, you have your own specific questions about possibly moving here. So if you do, feel free to reach out, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email, whatever works best for you. I'm easy to get a hold of, and I love talking about this area. Okay, now that we've seen White Rock, we've seen the White Rock Pier, we've seen the Promenade, I want to take you into town to show you a couple of places. Namely, first off, I want to show you the White Rock Market. So I'm going to zoom in on the map here. Again, this is Oxford Street right here. All right, so we're down on the beach. We're traveling up Oxford Street, and then we're going to turn right on Thrift. We're going uh, east on Thrift Avenue, and we're going to go all the way right here to the corner of Thrift and 152. And when we travel up 152, it's right in this area by the wooden spoon, which by the way, is a great little spot to grab a bite to eat. So let's go ahead and click on the map here. All right, so right now we're on Thrift and Johnson Street. So if we look down Johnson Street, this is White Rock down here. That's the ocean that we were just at. We're gonna turn our, uh, our camera around and we're gonna continue heading up into town. We're going into the city of White Rock, if you will. And as we scroll up here, there's a couple of neat things we're seeing. Now, the first thing we're gonna come by is the whale wall. You might've heard of the whale wall before. I'm gonna just turn my camera around because it is right 
there. That is the famous whale wall. Now the address here is on Russell Avenue. So you're on Russell and Johnson and you're going to want to check out that whale wall. Um, just down the street here, by the way, is the Wooden Spoon. The Wooden Spoon is a, a well-known restaurant here in town. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, really good food, good vibe. Uh, I love coming here for breakfast. Uh, they have great burgers, by the way, as well. And just across the street from the Wooden Spoon, you're going to find the Boza Towers. These are some very high-rise towers that have gone up recently. Beautiful spot. Um, but be between these towers is where you're going to find the White Rock Farmer's Market, which is a lot of fun. It happens every Sunday. You can go in there, check out some of the local um, artisans and some of the local farmers come in with their, their, uh, their fruits and vegetables, their honeys and all that kind of fun stuff. So it's a nice thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Of course, there's so much more to learn about South Surrey and White Rock. There's other videos that are popping up right now showing area map tours of South Surrey and and of White Rock, the best neighborhoods to live in, everything you could possibly want to know about living in this amazing area. So go ahead, watch those videos now.